Hey folks, it's Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook, and today we're going to be talking about Google Keep. So Google Keep, if you're not familiar with it, is kind of like sticky notes that you can carry with you anywhere. And you can take those sticky notes on a mobile device, on your computer, basically from any device that's connected to your Google account. And they all sync between each other. It's a really great way to stay organized. And just recently, as of the recording of this video, Google has made Google Keep part of its core G Suite products. So that means we get more support for it. It integrates with Google Docs. And so I kind of wanted to take this opportunity to give you a real, a real fast tour of what Google Keep can do and how you can use it. So let's jump over to the screen real quick. And so the easy way to find Google Keep, there's a couple of places. You can obviously just go to keep.google.com. Or you can search for it on the uh, on iOS on the App Store if you have an iPhone or an iPad. It's also available for Android. And then there's also a Google Chrome extension for it. So the easy way to find that is just to do Google Keep Chrome extension and then click on it. It's this one right here. And it will add it to your... Google Chrome browser up here in the top right hand corner and we'll talk about that a little bit more here in just a second. So what does Google Keep do? Well basically you can take these fancy sticky notes with it. So you click on a note up here. It all looks fairly similar when you go on to the mobile devices but you can type a headline or kind of like a title and then here is where your text goes. So that's the real simple stuff that that it will do, and it will keep these notes. You can see some of these notes over here just have text. But then you can also add pictures to them, too. So I can click the Add Image button, and I could go find a picture. That happens to be a picture of a bunch of text. Or you can take a picture on your phone. This is one of the things that I love to be able to do, is I will take a picture of something that I want to remember, and then I'll just attach it to a Google Keep note, and then I'll be able to pull it up later. And that's basically what I did right here in this one. This was a, a picture, actually a picture that um, a friend sent me that I wanted to hang on to. And so I stuck that in a Google Keep note. So really easy to add pictures. Another thing that's neat that you can do is you can draw freehand. So if you can't take a picture of what you want to take a note of and it doesn't go in text, then you can always kind of like draw a picture of it. So imagine you know, kind of like drawing out maybe like a flow chart or something. This is obviously going to be much easier to do if you do it on your, um, kind of like on a mobile device or something. And so I'm imagining, you know, there's kind of like a flow chart that you can use. And then you hit back and now it's saved here. And so I could even type flow chart. This is what it looks like. And then we can even click back here and go into it. And so you've got different sizes of pins that you can use in different colors. You can also do what's more like a marker here. And then you've also got a highlighter that you can do with different sizes. So if I wanted to highlight some stuff in this one, see how that would work. So there you go. That's the, the freehand drawing. Now, if you're a big organization and color coding type of person, then Google Keep is for you because what you can do is you can color code your notes so that you can see in an instant if your blue notes mean you know, business stuff and your red notes are like personal stuff, then if you want to keep them color coded in that way, that makes it really easy. But then you can also add labels. And so you can see where it says add label right here. Labels are a way to kind of, you know, put like a text label. Imagine if you've got a filing cabinet, a bunch of file folders, and it's like what goes on the little tabs. So we could label one as inspiration, and we could label another one as personal, and so on and so forth. And then what's nice is when you go up to the search bar up here, you have all of your labels, and now I can just pull up the ones that are personal, or I can just pull up the ones that are for inspiration or for whatever. So... Uh, the labels are really nice there. Reminders. This is another cool thing that you can do. So if there's something in this note that you need to have your attention drawn back to at a certain time or even in a certain location, you can add a reminder to it. And so you can pick a specific date or time. So in this case, we could say, you know, on March 11th at 8 a.m., I want to have a reminder so that I don't forget this thing. But what's amazing is that it doesn't have to be a time-based reminder. It can be a place. 
And so if you have the Google Keep app installed on your phone, the phone, whenever it goes into a certain GPS location, whenever it sees that, if it matches the GPS location for this note, it's going to send you a quick reminder. So what you can do here is let's say that I'm traveling to Indianapolis. I live in Indiana, it's the capital obviously. And so the next time that I get to Indianapolis, I want a reminder. Let's say maybe I'm having a meeting there or you know you could it would be really easy to do this for school. And so if you have remind if you have certain things that you need to remember to do the next morning at school, just set a GPS based reminder with your school's address. And then as soon as either you pull in the parking lot or you walk in the door, your phone's going to buzz and it's going to remind you of those things. So GPS based reminders are pretty amazing. Now check this next thing out. I think this is kind of like a, a ninja trick that I really like. If you have an image that's very text-based, kind of like this one that I just pulled up. We're going to get rid of this text right here. And But if you don't want it as an image, but you actually want to edit the text, watch this. You click the little three dots and you go to grab image text. Google Keep will read that image and it will pull all of the text. And so you can see down here, look at this. It basically pulled it in word for word exactly the way that it reads up here. This is not so easy though if you've got handwritten text. Like this one right here, watch this. If we go to grab image text, see now it's kinda, I mean some of it is good. And thankfully Jed's handwriting here is much better than mine. If I take a picture of my whiteboard and I try to grab the text, it's like gibberish. So <laughs> this works best whenever you have type text in an image. But the ability to do that and how fast it does it is really, really nice. Okay, sharing. This could be really nice if you have other teachers in your department that you want to share notes with or sh have a common checklist or whatever you can click this little collaborator button here and then we can add we can add another collaborator there's another one of my many Google accounts and so now my other Google account is connected to this so if I jumped over to my other Google account all of a sudden this little note with this text in the picture and all this text down here it would pop up in my Google Keep and so what that means is that now from that other account, let's say that you share it with all of the teachers in your department. Now everybody's able to add things to it. They're able, if it's a checklist, they're able to kind of like check off all of the check boxes. Speaking of checklists, I don't think that I covered that earlier. That is another neat feature here is that if we click on this little button that says new list, eggs, milk, bread. You could use it as a grocery list, but you could also use it as a to-do list. And so once that's there, we can just check the things that we've already done. And so you can make them into a real easy checklist like that. That's another type of note that you can make. So what we can also do is switch over to, now watch this, this is, this is sort of a newer thing as of the recording of this video, is that if you have a Google Doc, and you want to pull things in from your Google Keep, you just go to Tools and go to Keep Notepad. And so now here are all of your notes. And what you can do is you can pull over pictures and you can pull over text. So like if I wanted to grab this and pull it into my Google Doc, watch this, boom, there it is. If I wanted to pull this picture that I just drew, boom, there it is. It'll even work with checklists and it'll turn them into little bulleted lists here. So I think this would be really cool if students are gathering research, gathering information for like a research paper. And if it's really hard for them to kind of like visualize in their mind how they want to organize it, if they've got all of their stuff over in Google Keep in different notes, then they can just pull the notes and put them in the order that they want and they basically have formatted their, their research paper. So that's another really, really nice option. Now the Chrome extension, I mentioned this earlier, uh, and I showed you how you could find it at the beginning, is just doing a Google search for Google Keep Chrome extension. So I'm running the Google Chrome web browser here, and I have installed my Google Keep extension, and you can see it in this little note up here. So I'm gonna jump over to a blog post that happens to uh, mention these updates to Google Keep. 
And let's say I want to hang on to this link. If I want to save it maybe to read for later or whatever. I can click, click on this Google Keep extension and it's going to save it. It just popped up there for a second. But what it did was, <laughs> it keeps disappearing on me. But what it did was it saved, and we'll even see it over here. Look, it saved it twice. So I'm going to get rid of one of them with the archive button. But it saved that link onto a note. So if I pull it up, there's the link of that post that I just had over there. So that's kind of nice. If you find an article and you want to hang on to the link or a video or a website or whatever, you just click on this little Google Keep Chrome extension button and it will save it as a note. And then you can obviously, you know, you can add a label to it or you can color code it or add collaborators or add more stuff to it if you want to. So that's really nice. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was that you can search your notes. This is one of the drawbacks of keeping notes in a physical notebook, is that if I have this notebook full of all of these notes, and I know that I have something good in it that I want, but I can't remember where it is, I have to flip, 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 right? But if I want to see the word teachable here, let's say that I can't, you know, that one's buried in my Google Keep Notes, and I want to bring it up to the top really quick. I just do a quick search and boom, there it is. Now here's the impressive thing about this, is that if you have a word in your, in your picture, and if Google Keep can read it, like if it's not written with sloppy handwriting, like we have the word GPS right here, Google Keep will literally search your pictures as well. Now, with this one, we grabbed the text, and so the word GPS is actually down here. But it will do that with pictures, even if it's not down in the text down below, like the text down here. If it's not down here, but it's in the picture somewhere, it will literally search your pictures for words, and it will pull them up, which is pretty amazing. So, lots of potential, lots of possibilities for using Google Keep. And I've got a blog post on 10 ways that you can use Google Keep in schools and the classroom to kind of like streamline your life. So if you're interested in checking that out, go to ditchthattextbook.com and just do a search for Google Keep and you should be able to find it. So hopefully this is useful for you and I will see you on the next video.